Without Asians, America would be nowhere. It's known as the melting pot of cultures, American history is laden with Asian contributions. From Thai, Indian, and Chinese food culture to taking up over 25% of the country's STEM jobs, Asian Americans have done a lot to make America great. But what places is this thriving community calling home within the U.S.? In this video, let's go over the top 10 states with the highest Asian population. Stick with us to hear strange and surprising facts about the Asian population in these states and how they've changed the entire place. Brace yourself and let's kick off this video with Number 10, Massachusetts. This Western state is celebrated for being the scene of many historical events and its world-class universities like Harvard. In 1628, Massachusetts became one of the first colonies and landing places for pilgrims. Today, in 2023, it's the landing place for the Asian American community. According to the U.S. Census, 5.3% of the state's total population is made of various Asian ethnicities. If that number seems small to you, Think again, because that sums up to over 466,044 people in only 7,799 square miles of land. Within the state, you'll find the Asian stronghold in Boston, Lexington, and Quincy, along with a few more prominent suburbs around Boston. In Quincy alone, the Chinese population has reached over 60% of the total population, with most of them being successful, contributing members of society. When we talk of the Asian population, numerous countries and identities wind in that umbrella such as Chinese, Indians, Filipinos, Japanese, Korean, and Malaysian. But in Boston, you'll find more Chinese than other ethnicities. In fact, one in four Chinese students in America are moving to Boston. But why? Well, Massachusetts is a treasure trove of cultural attractions and offers a high quality of life. For starters, crime rates are low Homeownership is an affordable dream. Good schools are everywhere and plenty of amenities make it an attractive option. Asian communities traditionally lay special emphasis on education and Boston has two of the best universities in the world. Downtown Boston's Chinatown is another reason the Chinese community is so tight-knit here. You can find authentic Chinese cuisine and family-owned businesses that will transport you to the heart of China making Boston disappear in seconds. Number nine, Virginia. Love is always in the air in Virginia. But do you know what else is in this stunning state? 570,398 Asians, making up 5.5% of the total population. Specifically speaking, Virginia is home to some of the biggest South Asian communities, followed by South Koreans and Filipinos. A few states south of Massachusetts is Virginia, popular for the fact that over 70% of its residents are foreigners who decided to get that blue passport. Being near Washington, Asian foreigners initially came for studies or business opportunities and later settled within the region. As a result, Virginian Asians earn more than the state average, are likely to go to college more than other races, and work in high positions no matter the profession. In short, they have it good there. This large group of Asians has enhanced Virginia's cultural scene with Chinese and Vietnamese being the most spoken languages after English and Spanish. Every May, Fairfax holds one of the biggest Asian festivals with traditional dances, Chinese New Year celebrations, and food stalls brimming with authentic flavors of Asian cuisine. Speaking of food, Northern Virginia is packed with insanely delicious restaurants that offer authentic cuisine for all budgets and styles. Moreover, these are run by families of Asian lineage. Since Asians have a close relationship with their faith, it should be mentioned that Virginia is home to 175 Hindu temples, over 30 Buddhist temples, and almost 100 mosques. These places don't just serve as places of worship, but also as community spaces to celebrate festivals and create a tight-knit community. Number eight, Alaska. Just a stone's throw away from the Asian continent is Alaska. So it's no surprise that 6.7% of its population is of Asian descent. 
For now, that counts as 47,289 people according to the U.S. However, keep in mind that the rules of this census aren't super simple and can be misleading. Despite the U.S. Census discarding Native Alaskans from their Asian count, the oldest Alaskan natives are indeed of Filipino and Japanese descent. If we count them for the sake of this video, that would mean over 35% of Alaskans are Asian, making it land as one of the top four states. But where did these Asians come from, and how did they settle long enough to become natives? Well, Filipinos worked as crew members of fur trading vessels that would halt at Anchorage in Alaska. It became the key hotspot for those crew members to bring their entire families over and start a new life on a new continent. Today, Alaska has some of the highest percentage populations of Filipinos, Japanese, and Koreans in the country who have lived here for centuries and are now natives to this state. Alaska is renowned for its Asian-inspired native dishes, such as salmon teriyaki, halibut sushi rolls, halibut ceviche, Asian-style dumplings with berries, kimchi salmon tacos, Alaskan tofu and vegetable curry. And this isn't the end of that list. Number seven, Maryland. According to the Maryland Department of Labor, Maryland's Asian-American population reached over 384, 429 people in 2019, accounting for 7.7% of the total population. These numbers are rapidly growing, and it's expected that Asians will account for up to 35% of the total population by 2045. That's pretty soon, if you ask anyone. Some immigrants from Asia have come to Maryland through the Diversity Visa Lottery Program, which randomly selects individuals from countries with lower rates of immigration to the United States. Some came through family reunification programs. However, the earliest Asian immigrants in Maryland arrived in the 19th century during the California Gold Rush and the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad as cheap labor. The Hart Seller Act of 1965 also marked a significant change in American immigration policy, leading to an influx of Asian immigrants in Maryland and its outskirts. The largest Asian demographic in Maryland is Indians, followed by Koreans, Chinese, and Vietnamese. You'll also see an abundance of beauty salons run by immigrant Filipinos while Indians and Chinese dominate the cuisine scene. Apart from the food and beauty sectors, Asians are dominating many parts of Maryland's economy, working as doctors, lawyers, and even dozens of politicians and public servants. The Asian community has also been generating over 50% of Maryland's business revenue, and recently, Aruna Miller became Maryland's 10th Lieutenant Governor. You guessed it, she's Asian. Nevada. If you're making a confused face right now, you're not alone. Surprisingly, Nevada's barely populated desert of a state is one of the top choices for the Asian community. In fact, 9.1% of Nevadans are Asian, which brings a headcount to roughly above 252,314, concentrated mainly in Las Vegas. Breaking down the community, Filipinos hold the largest percentage of the group at 52%, followed by the Chinese at 12% and the Japanese at 9%. Koreans, Vietnamese, Thai Indians, Cambodians, Taiwanese, and Indonesians are also in high numbers within Nevada, along with a few more Asian minorities. And so Nevada's fastest growing ethnicity is Asian. This community is thriving in Las Vegas where many run authentic restaurants, massage parlors, and other entertainment joints. Outside the Strip, there are many Nevadan cities and suburbs where you'll find plenty of Asians settled down, including Henderson, Reno, Sparks, and Fox. Yet, unlike other states, Asians earn less than the state average in Nevada with many on the cusp of homelessness and unemployment. So, not everything might be sunshine and butterflies over here. New Jersey? Coming up at number five, it's no surprise that New Jersey makes the cut in our video. Given that 10% of its population is of Asian descent, New Jersey is home to more than 1 million Asians, making them the fastest growing demographic in the Garden State. Most of this influx is from New York, where Asians want to move to the suburbs to cut down costs and still keep their jobs. Responding to this strong interstate migration, 
New Jersey has made Pacific Islander history a compulsory aspect of their K-12 curriculum. This ensures that racial hate crime goes down while awareness and exclusivity rise up. Indians are the largest ethnic group, and they've transformed parts of New Jersey into Little India. From celebrating Diwali with dazzling fireworks displays throughout the major cities to an abundance of mouth-watering Indian restaurants, everyone will feel right at home. New Jersey is also home to several large-scale festivals and concerts centered around Asian cultures, such as Japanese rock concerts, Chinese New Year celebrations, traditional Asian cooking classes, as well as Chinatown tours. New York Even though New York's Asians are moving away to New Jersey, the Big Apple is still housing over 1.2 million Asians, accounting for almost 11% of the total population. To nobody's surprise, New York is an attractive state for everyone with its ever-growing opportunities, and Asians are no different. The city's heartbeat, Manhattan, proudly hosts the world's largest Chinatown. While Kurie Town finds its home around the iconic Empire State Building, New York City's cultural richness extends beyond its culinary delights. It boasts numerous museums showcasing Asian art and culture, along with language schools and churches catering to a variety of Asian languages. And the diversity isn't confined to the city limits particularly in Erie, Albany, and Onondaga counties, upstate New York is experiencing a rapid rise in diversity. With a notable population of Asian Americans and recent immigrants, Washington. Coming up on number three, Washington is called home by over 662,000 Asians, roughly making up 11% of the total population. Washington's Asians originally came to the state in the 19th century and were typically miners who worked in harsh conditions for low pay. These people are those who truly deserve the credit for the transcontinental railroad that ultimately raised America to be the flourishing superpower it is today. Slowly but surely, Asians in Washington got citizenship and their rights, but why do they stop? One of the most obvious reasons is that Washington is where all the tech giants and multinational companies are headquartered, from Microsoft and Amazon to Deloitte and Google HQ. Good tech jobs abound, attracting students to study at the nearby University of Washington and settle down with a good job in one of these giants. Washington's cultural scene won't give any FOMO to Asians away from home either. Suited to all budgets and different tastes, Asian restaurants, pop-up shops, and stores are scattered throughout the region, so it doesn't matter if you're missing dim sum, ramen, or biryani, you'll find the exact taste from your hometown here. Number two, oh golden state. Don't you host over 5.8 million Asians yourself? Yeah, you heard that number right. California is one of the most iconic American states with its Mediterranean climate and America's largest job market with over 17.8 million workers. Those are just some reasons why 15.5% of Asians are settled in California. And no, they're not just showing up now. Californian Asians have been there since the 1800s and have seen rough times since then. The Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, American-Japanese recruitments during the World War, and the roadblocks Asians faced before they were considered eligible for citizenship are just some that we can name off the top of our heads. Today, they're thriving in California with profitable businesses and careers and enjoying the Cali life with homeownership as well. Bruce Lee, Vera Wang, Daniel Wu, and NBI star Jeremy Lin are just some of those popular Cali Asians to give you an idea. The most dominant Asian groups in Southern California are Filipino, Chinese, Vietnamese, Indian, Korean, Japanese, Taiwanese, and Cambodian in that exact order. Finally, it's time to bring up the U.S. state with the highest Asian population. Before we do, can you guess what state this might be? We'll give you five seconds. Forgot your guess. Let's take a look at our top spot. Number one, Hawaii. Nestled in the South Pacific, Hawaii is one of the most culturally and naturally diverse and unique states of America. So it comes as no surprise that over 45.2% of Hawaiians are Asian, accounting for well over 534,000 people. Yes, that means white people are in a minority. 
Back in the 19th century, immigrants from China, Japan, the Philippines, and other Asian regions arrived to work on sugarcane and pineapple plantations. Being close to Asia, the tropical weather and lifestyle suited these then workers who started slowly bringing their entire families to the state. The rest is history. People who are Japanese or part Japanese have the highest median family income in Hawaii at $114,825 a year. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Filipinos or part Filipinos rank second with a median family income of $102,324. Meanwhile, Koreans account for almost 4% of the total population, with East Asian, Southeast Asian, and Pacific Islander descent. Hawaii's Asian community plays a pivotal role in shaping the state's identity. Everywhere you go, you'll be struck with Asian influences. For starters, the local food scene is a delightful fusion of Asian flavors, with dishes like poke, lomi lomi, sushi, dim sum, and plate lunches becoming iconic Hawaiian representations throughout the year. Colorful processions and festivals take place that celebrate the Asian community, such as the Bone Dance Festival for Japanese, Chinese New Year festivals, and even the Pan Pacific Festival and parades. Traditional Asian art forms are also dominant in the reach, including Japanese flower arranging, calligraphy, and Chinese brush paintings. Even in educational institutes, students opt to learn Japanese Mandarin or Korean along with Hawaiian culture in K through 12 schools. And this brings us to the end of our video today. We hope you enjoyed traveling to the American states with the highest Asian population with us and hope we'll see you around next time. Till then, be happy, be kind, and spread love. Goodbye.